morning from Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. We made it here last night. Our flight was at 4.40 p.m. and then we landed around 9.15 Vietnam time. So last night was just a rush to get out of the airport and then get to the hotel. We got our SIM cards, we got some local currency and then we got a taxi back to our hotel. And our hotel is beautiful. I'm so glad that we're staying here. Where we're staying is called the City Oasis and it truly feels like that because I just don't even feel like we're in the city. We have those beautiful plants that are growing down the balconies and there's a pool at the bottom. So it just feels so nice to have that little oasis, literally. So today we have a big day. We're so excited. I can't believe I even slept because I've just been so, so excited to be here. I have absolutely missed the heat of this part of Asia. I'm loving it. I'm just feeling so grateful to be here. I cannot believe we're actually here. I'm so excited. So we're here in Vietnam for 10 days and in total we're going to see of course Ho Chi Minh City, Hanoi, then we're going to Ha Long Bay and then finally Hoi An. Uh, before we make it back to Ho Chi Minh City to fly back to Melbourne. We're just excited to learn about the culture here and oh. I'm just like, I'm just so happy. <laughs> in Ho Chi Minh so he could really tell us a lot and show us a lot and he was so lovely he was such a nice person so we started off by going to a private family farm and they also took us out to their little river that they had which was really fun as well and then we had a cooking class we learned how to cook traditional Vietnamese pancakes which was so good it was so delicious amazing experience um everyone was so lovely and then we continued on to the mekong delta river got to see a couple of other places as well like a local coconut lolly factory amazing by the way the lollies were so delicious uh and they were so kind and we also went to a honey farm and i got to hold the little uh, what is the word for that i'm gonna google it where the bees sit and make their honey and I got to hold it and it was so amazing I can't believe that that was really cool everywhere we went was just so beautiful we just had such an amazing day as I said everyone was so so lovely our tour guide was so nice he was really fun that just topped it off it was such a fantastic day I love absolutely love this is such a side note I absolutely love going to like local supermarkets in different countries because everything is so different oh i i absolutely love that so we've just bought a bunch of random stuff to try which we're really really excited about so as i mentioned it's been such an amazing day we're so grateful to be here oh and also i am really i had a motorbike accident so i've been very afraid of getting on a bike again and I interestingly that even impacted riding just a bicycle even in Europe when I went in 2018 there was a bike tour and I thought it would be fine but I just was not able to do it this was in Munich in Germany I just couldn't do it but today there was a bike tour included I decided to really push myself and I'm just so proud of myself that 
I was able to do it and it was scary but it was fun I know it sounds ridiculous it's just bike riding but it was really really fun I I had a really good time anyway I feel like I'm really rambling now <laughs> but uh, I did want to make that note because I was really really proud of myself so now we're gonna eat some food eat some snacks and maybe watch some local tv that's another thing i love watching local tv i might not know what's going on but i love it it's just i don't know why it's just comforting anyway that has been our day again so happy to be here and very very excited for what else is to come <laughs>
Ryan has learned his lesson now. <laughs> So yeah, it was really lovely to explore a little bit of Ho Chi Minh City in the morning and it was a little quieter then So I think that was probably really nice as well for us to just Feel the calm of the morning before it gets crazy. We're staying at the Singita Classy Boutique Hotel and it's so beautiful We have such a beautiful room. We have a balcony. We're on the ninth story and we have a view of Hanoi which is really beautiful and I don't know if you can hear in the background, but there's actually some live music going on. And there are so many restaurants around us as well. After we got out of the grab from the airport, we were a little lost and we didn't actually know exactly where our hotel was. Uh, and then we discovered that both of our phones were on 1% and 2%. So we were a little stressed. We decided to go to a cafe. And they took us in, they were so nice. And we said, um, I said, oh, is there anywhere that I can charge my phone? And they went and grabbed a charger for me and put my phone on charge. And it, they were so lovely. So that was such a lovely warm welcome to Hanoi. And the staff working at this hotel are really, really lovely as well. So sweet. So yeah, we're having a good time. We're happy to be in Hanoi. And all in all, it's been a really good day. <laughs> So now we're going to go out and get some dinner and then we're going to walk back to our hotel and I think we're going to try a few more local snacks, which I'm really excited about, and just chill out for the evening. Um, so yeah, we're really excited. <laughs> day today we sort of took our time a bit this morning and then we got ready and went to St Joseph's Cathedral uh, which is really beautiful in person we were really happy that we went to see it uh, and there are so many cafes and restaurants nearby and so many beautiful streets nearby as well then we continued down the street just walking around there are so many temples around and there's all these trees that are growing along the streets as well it's just so beautiful we decided to find somewhere to get some lunch and we found a spot where we had an amazing amazing lunch it was so delicious and the people running it were so sweet as well so that was really really good and then we just continued exploring it was such a lovely relaxing enjoyable day and then we came back to the hotel just to relax a little bit now we're about to go out and get some dinner we're so excited um to eat again because the food is just so so delicious so that is our plan I absolutely love Hanoi, it's so beautiful.
boy Tui. We have had a very packed day today. So this morning we were picked up by another tour guide that we hired for our last full day in Hanoi. She's so lovely and informative. So we started off at the Tran Quoc Pagoda, which was so beautiful and really, really interesting to learn about the different traditions and about Buddhism, the religion itself. It was really, really fascinating and so beautiful. Then we continued to the Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum. Ho Chi Minh was the first president of Vietnam and he actually helped Vietnam get their independence. He's a highly respected figure in Vietnam and he's actually the only face that you will see on any of the currency in Vietnam. And we got to see his residence. We actually got to see his preserved body. Then we continue to the Vietnam Museum of Ethnology. There are 54 different ethnicities in Vietnam. There was so much that we learned about the individual cultures. We learned a bit about, I guess, the traditional ways of life as well for the Viet people in Vietnam as well. So the Viet people make up 86% of Vietnam. Then we continued and got some lunch, which was so, so nice. Lunchtime is the best for just being able to connect with the other people that you're on a tour with. Um, so I, yeah, I, I always really value the lunch for more than just the food as well. It was really fascinating as well to just have a conversation about the world and everything going on and just different perspectives that we've had you know living in different countries then we went to an art gallery which was really amazing we got to see some people that were working on some artwork using the vietnamese traditional lacquerware art style which was really really amazing they use eggshells for some of their artwork which was just really fascinating to watch them create these artworks it was so amazing and to see the final products as well ryan and i bought an artwork from their art gallery which is very very beautiful then we went to the hanoi temple of literature which was absolutely fascinating it was so beautiful and full of history it was just so incredible so it's actually vietnam's first university and then we continued to our final destination which was the prison in hanoi which was also full of history it was built under the french when they colonized vietnam all in all it's been such an interesting day full of history which has been so fascinating learning about the history in different countries i think gives you such an insight to the country of course i have such huge respect for vietnam and the people and everything that the country has been through so yeah it's just remarkable what they have gone through and the people that they are today it's you know it's such a friendly warm place to be so i'm yeah I, i'm absolutely so glad that we had this day to just really delve into the history here in vietnam lastly today we went to the train street in hanoi uh so actually it's now closed the government closed down the stores that used to run along the railway because of course it, it's extremely dangerous um so you can now see the entry point from the main street there are guards there to obviously protect people and stop them from crossing the tracks there is a fine that you can receive if you do so but it was really cool to see anyway you can still see all of the buildings that face the railway um and i think you can go to a few cafes still there too but yeah, it, of course it is a really dangerous site. So I'm not surprised that that ended up happening. So it's just been a really fascinating day.